Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and in today's video I'm going to show you an SSD adapter that I purchased from AliExpress, really cheap, below five dollars or five euros. And with this adapter we can use MSATA SSDs on a laptop, also in a tower PC if you want, or a Mac that supports uh, SSD SATA connection, okay? So I will use this in, in this uh, USB hub that I already review on my channel. I have this SSD that I will be using for the test and I also have one small factor M SATA SSD really cheap also from this, this one from Amazon it costs 23 euros one 128 gigs okay so this one I have Linux installed and also using it to store data to be used on an Android box or somewhere I need to take my data to a laptop from one computer to another so this is a M SATA SSD and we just insert like this, secure it with the screws that comes with the adapter and there is also another slot for the the shorter ones okay so it's ready to be used so I will be removing the normal SSD and as you can see the connection is the same so we just slide it in and it's ready to be used so remember it is one I have Ubuntu Linux uh, and show so it should boot immediately from from the the new SSD if the adapter works okay so booting up the computer We wait a little bit and it's putting Ubuntu so it works so the adapter works really well and as you can see everything is working so let's have a look searching for disks and here we have it western digital 240 gigs three partitions so in that one i have uh, catalina for my akintosh i have ubuntu and i have uh, another part partition of 80 gigs for data that i can carry around okay so it's working really well now we, we are going to to use another type of ssd this one small factor M SATA so we need to switch this okay to the other side uh, this adapter is also able to connect NVMe SSDs NVMe stands for non volatile memory express so those those SSDs are really f faster than that one or the green one or either this one the smaller one but remember so NV, NVMe needs to be connected directly to the motherboard because if we use an adapter for sure it will not give you the the performance that it was created for so NVMe are more expensive than, than regular M SATA SSDs okay so um, as we have a switch we have to select if you want to use just the, the this one the small factor M SATA or the 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 one on the top the slot for NVMe and normal M uh, M SATA okay so for this one I have just moved the switch for M SATA and we will be installing Windows 11 on this old laptop 
yeah it's not compatible but if you see my video there is a way how to install Windows 11 on any computer so this is a HP ProBook 4530s and you will see that no problem to install so I will be installing Windows 11 just for the test of the video and after that I will run a benchmark on the SSD so this as I told you this SSD is really cheap so 33 23 euros from Amazon I will be leaving the link in the video description so you pay 23 euros for 128 gigabytes okay so really really cheap and so as you can see Windows 11 Pro everything working on a non capable Windows 11 supported computer okay let's boot for the first time so if you want to count the seconds from 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 the and sorry my Google home activated without me saying anything hey Google stop okay so here are the the benchmark so reading 509 and writing 293 okay that's the you can Amsada. I will be leaving the link in the video description let's have a look at the, the Amazon site so you can also use the adapter if you have a caddy okay you can use the, the adapter here let's have a look at the Amazon site and check uh, the, the, the writing speed or the read speed if they have it so this is the the SSD the really cheap opportunity to upgrade your computer to really fast speed with less money okay so they say 500 gigabytes per second so it matches okay so the adapter doesn't bottleneck the speed of your SSD so I think this is a good solution to upgrade your computer if you have some MSATA SSDs laying around okay so this is a another external case for MSATA SSDs another one that I have and it's really useful okay so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider to subscribe to my channel I'm always launching new videos with uh, new adapters new things reviews everything okay catch you on a new video bye bye